Parking is and always will be an issue in downtown Honolulu and in plenty of other Oahu neighborhoods. And tonight's your chance to share your thoughts and concerns, maybe even your ideas. Casey Land is live this morning to talk more about this. Casey. I've got a few of my own. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what uh, this town hall that we're going to tell you about. <laughs> that's what this town hall that we're going to tell you about is all, all about. Um, and specifically, though, they're also going to be talking about City Council Bill 20, and that deals with residential or excuse me, restricted parking zones. It was a pilot program launched in Kalihi Valley in 2017 that essentially allows households to apply for permits uh, to allow them to park and keeps non-residents out. Uh, and it does a lot more than that. And I want to talk to Representative State Representative. John Mizuna with us this morning, who represents Kalihi Valley. I want to ask you how that program has been going. The bill that you're uh, working on with uh, City Council Member Tyler Dos Santos Tam would make that permanent in your district or in your neighborhood, uh, and then look to expand it maybe in others. How's it going though, where you live or where you represent? Uh, one word would be excellent. Um, people really appreciate the RPZ program. It actually, what exactly what you said? It reduces outside parking for the residents. In addition to that, it's a time um, specific thing for us, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So no, no one from the outside can park in those areas. It also has reduced crime significantly, reduces late night noise, illegal dumping of trash, littering, of criminal property damage, a burglary, um, loud noise, illegal drinking of alcohol, and criminal. Um, drug use on near the area residents. So it's a game changer. It reduces crime and allows adequate parking for our area residents. And so, of course, this is a city council bill. You're a state representative. Um, but it, it, does it make sense that you two are working together? Because this could uh, be brought to other areas on Oahu and possibly the state. But it's not going to work the same uh, for every neighborhood, right? It has to be adapted. Uh, like, like for downtown, it would have to be a little bit different. Right. It's not a perfect fit for every district, but hopefully we can uh, show this as a blueprint, excellent blueprint to roll out. Other districts in, on Oahu and hopefully on the neighbor islands will get this too. And I, I got to um, throw a shout out to Tyler Dos Santos Tam, good friend of mine. We campaigned together and so honored that state elected officials can work with city elected officials. This is the right thing to do and it's very efficient. Yeah, very good. And we're we're going to be speaking with uh, Council Member Dos Santos Tam coming up. Uh, really quickly, details, really quickly, we are almost out of time on that town hall. 5.30 this evening, where's it at? It's going to be at Kaivai Elementary School. Uh, if you're interested, come on by for Kalihi residents. Come on by. Very good. Representative John Mizuna, I appreciate your time this Thank morning. You Again, we are going to be speaking with Council Member Dos Santos Tam. Uh, he'll be here because, like you heard Representative Mizuno say, those restricted parking zones might not work anywhere, or everywhere, I should say. And that's what we've heard from some of the folks that we've been talking to downtown. Some people say, oh, maybe, and other business owners say, eh, it might not be a good idea here in Oahu's central core. Guys? Got it. All right. Thanks, Casey.